Most of us love monstrous guitar tones. I think something that we don't all realize is that some of those huge guitar tones actually have some clean signal mixed in. Why is this relevant? Because some gain pedals actually have some clean signal mixed into it as well. So first, let's take a look at a few popular songs that have that clean signal mixed in with it and another popular song that does not. What I have here are two identical circuits. The only difference being one of them has some clean signal mixed into it, the other one does not. Now, I have it on a switch so I can switch back and forth between those. The thing that you'll see on the screen is this LED is lit whenever I'm using one circuit and it's not lit when I'm using the other circuit. The LED is completely out of the signal path. It's just there to indicate which is which for you. I thought it might be fun, might be interesting, to comment below which one you think has the clean signal in it. Keep in mind, these are identical in every way except for one of the circuits has a little bit of clean signal mixed in with the overdrive circuit. My clean tone first is this. Circuit one. Let's change the circuit to the next one. Feel free to comment below which one you think has the clean signal in it. Is it the one with the LED on? Is it the one with the LED off? So at this point in the video, I'm going to assume that you have already commented below saying which circuit you thought had the clean signal in it. So it is indeed this one right here with the LED indicator. Uh, what I wanted to show you, maybe add a little bit to this video, is you can actually increase that clean signal as well if you want to. And you simply do that by putting resistance in between where the soft clipping diodes are and the uh, one of the pins of, on the op amp. What I have here is a 100K potentiometer. I'm just simply going to vary that resistance from effectively zero. I mean, there's some tolerance for the potentiometer, so it could be like two ohms or something, uh, all the way up to 100. You'll notice it does get louder as well. It changes the clipping, um, the clipping style quite a bit. Uh, you can actually use this trick with other types of circuits as well when you're designing things. So you can actually add in resistance in different parts of the circuit and just create, you know, fun different type of clipping textures. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start it all the way back down. This is uh, just a just a hint of clean signal in it. Now I'm going to increase this a little bit at a time, play a little riff, and then you will see just how it's going to change the sound and, and the texture.
So I hope you liked this video. Hope it sort of gave you some insight into a little bit more of the inner workings of some op-amp soft clipping style circuits. And uh, we'll see you next time with a new video.